Montana, this for fun. Niggas see me with my gun. Which is start to run. Then I'm done. In my love. I was done. Run. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Told you, mama, I was done. Let me hear that. I just really lighten some shit. Like, emphasize some shit. Say, say, what's the science, kid? Rembrandt on official trip, black biz. Middle fingers up, you know what it is. Keep the banging tuck, don't wanna split your wig. Mommy, I'm trying to get up in the ribs. Gotta twist it up like a pretzel. Like wishing they make it my bad, I'm so forgetful. Little sister, bring home no babies. But she ain't say nothing about more ladies. Never stash the guns in the Mercedes. Keep my eyes on 12 like Brady. It's Hold up, bring it back. So you got them, got them teeth out this motherfucker. Ah, get my pronunciations right. Yeah. Say, say, what's the science, kid? Rembrandt on official trip, black bears. Middle fingers up, you know what it is. Keep the bang attack, don't wanna split your wig. Mommy, I'm trying to get up in the ribs. Gotta twist it up like a pretzel. Wishing they make it my bad, I'm so forgetful. My mama said don't bring home no babies. But she ain't say nothing about more ladies. Bro, take from this crazy bitch. All right, we're here real quick. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yo, S.I. Devon, what you doing right now, man? What's going on in the studio? About to record some abs for, uh, for this track, for this upcoming album we got called um, Super Narcan and shit, you know what I mean? Um, okay. This particular track called Kimosabi. And yo, who we got in the booth? She got B Mac in the booth. Mac the legend right here. Okay, okay. Man, get this track done, you know, 2024, Civil Narcan is coming. Hey, you yeah. got this in, bro? Yeah, we got the rest of the team in the building. What's good with y'all? Yo, Trap Star Blue in the building. Trap Star Come on, Jaso. Come on, man. You know who you yeah. is. Yeah. Alpha, baby. What's good? Alpha. Jay so, what's going on? Kimo, Kimo, Kimo. Hold up, I don't know what Come on. So you better suck the word. You niggas see me with my gun. I'm just trying to raise your funds. With the smoke in my lungs. Real bread here, and I don't die. When my mama said, Mama, 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 mama the mama, I was done. Well done, so we would. <coughs> Crazy. With the smoke in my lungs. So you better set the run. You niggas see me with my gun. From Brent Hill and I'm done. Learning it for fun. Mommy, mommy, shake some. I'm just trying to raise your mind. Well done, so we won. With the smokes in my lungs. So did my mind. Good shit. You having it? Yeah. You want, you want to hear it first? You want to hear it first? Yo, you good, G? What's up? 
<laughs> Take it easy, Jay. Hey. <laughs> Make sure your tracks is clean, fuck with the Pro Tools and shit like that. You know what I mean? That's what I fuck with a lot is the Pro Tools. Mm -hmm. um, Logic is ill, I'm adapting Logic a little bit, but my main, my main go-to is Pro Tools. Talk about them plugins, man. Like, which ones you use? What's your go-tos? <clears throat> a lot of my go-tos is, um, let me see, I got a lot of shit up here. But these is, um, I like the trim, got a trim, trim the track down. That way shit ain't too loud, you know what I mean? Uh, EQ, the REQ, going with the waves. A DS that you need on there. And um, I like rocking with the R compressor, with the R box. There's a couple other things and shit, but I like individual tracks, I might go in and clean up. Uh, you know what I mean, different peaks and the levels that's, that's too high, too low, annoying, annoying ass sounds and shit, resonances that's in the background that uh, need to get cleaned out and dropped down, that causes a lot of uh, fatigue and shit like that, you know what I mean, I throw a tape bus on the, uh, on the, ooh, on the, uh, master drum, let me get that thing back, you know? What's the best features of Pro Tools? The best features is be, um, shit, um. I see the interface is real clean. Is it real easy to use, intuitive? Yeah, it's like easy once you, once you know what you're doing. Like, once you know where you're at with it, it's, it's, it's. It's easy, like the workflow is kind of easy on here, but if you don't know what you're doing and you get lost or you, it slows up your um, your workflow, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So, um, <clears throat> the best features for me is, is the organization part of it okay. and how I got everything color coded. Mm -hmm. and so, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other dogs might have that, but I like the, uh, you know, the, the mixing aspect of things plugins, the ins and outs, the routing, and all that type of shit, and it's the overall doll itself, the editing window, and all that shit that you can do, then anything that you that you need to do to a particular track, as you track it, I like the tracking of it, it's easy and it's simple, you know what I mean? And the quality's there. And the quality's there, but the thing about Pro Tools is it's, it's mad flat to me, like, it's like, it's boxed in. Okay. For the sound, like Logic, it got as look a little bit of a color to the sound. Okay. And um, which a lot of people like, cause it sounds real good. I think Logic sounds better than Pro Tools as far as the dog goes, but <clears throat> the dog itself ain't nothing fucking with Pro Tools. Okay. You know what I mean? And you uh, can make beats in Pro Tools, and you can make beats in Logic. Logic is easier to me to make beats into. I never made a beat in Pro Tools yet. And then recording vocals on here, it's really clean cut, right? Yeah, it's straight uh, cut and dry as long as you got your signal. It's your, uh, your processing signals coming in at the right uh, the right temperature. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to be too hot. As long as you stay in between negative 18 and negative 6, everything will be good. You know what I mean? And how many tracks you normally know, use to comprise your song? Depends on how many tracks it is. This is one of those shit I can't even count. I've been doing <laughs> yeah, this month. You know what I'm saying? But um, I just got a session. I just mixed out a rock session. Uh, a rock and roll band, a live instruments, a little of that shit. Okay. That shit got 50 tracks on there to mix. 
Okay. So, and I didn't even, and it's like maybe four to six vocal tracks, or the rest is straight in instruments. A, a, a hit, a snare, you know what I mean, drum kick, the drum room, electric guitars, like six electric guitars, all types of shit. So you gotta go in and fuck with each each one of them. Track is fired off, fuck with the track shit. <laughs> Hey, explain to the viewers real quick when it comes to mixing. Like, what's the ins and outs when it comes to mixing? What are you listening for as you're mixing? Um, anything that stands out, like uh, different resonances. Like, okay. if it's too high, too low, uh, annoying to the ear. You want everything to sit right and properly. Okay. And um, a lot of people like a lot of shit being loud, super loud, because they think loudest is better. So they That's, try to mix more on the high end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mix on the high end too, a lot. Like I'm, I'm always not high and shit, but I try to start dialing back a lot more because that's what puts in that clarity and that's where you get the bounce from. Okay. Because if everything is this way, screaming on the red line, then it ain't no, ain't no bounce. Right. When you move when you bouncing, you going in and out, right? You're right. Bouncing in and out. So you want your shit to bounce. You want your needles to bounce too. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So you bring shit down. If it's too high, it's just going to scream over here all day and it's stagnant. It ain't really moving. Mm -hmm. So everything everything sound like one sound. Everything's together. When you give room to breathe, then it backs off. And then I was giving room. What we, 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 we just say? Breathe and stop? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it should come bouncing in and out and shit. You know what I mean? So. What about panning? Is that <clears throat> something you implement a lot? Oh, uh, yeah. You got to. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Cause that way everything ain't just coming straight down the middle once again. Like now it's getting stagnant. Everything just boom, boom, boom all at one time. Doing a little over here, a little over there. You keep certain shit down the center. Your vocals stay down the center. Mm -hmm. uh, the main, your lead vocals, then you, you take your your um your backups or your ad libs or whatever, and you like slightly pan them. You could keep them down the middle depending on what kind of feel you're going for too. But for the most part, you know, you pan it left and right until you get the image and quality that you want. There's a such thing as depth too. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people overlook and they skip. You know what I'm saying? And that's um, the width of the track and bringing things forward or sitting in the middle or sitting backwards. You know what I mean? And, and that's a little bit more tricky to achieve as the panning because sometimes you can't just get that with panning right. alone. You know right. what I mean? That goes with all. Um, you might gotta bring the level down a little bit and still pan in and then add a filter on it to make it seem like it's more mm -hmm. set back mm -hmm. or more brought forward. You know what I mean? Depending on where you want it at, different things like that. Now I know some, certain producers like to per track do like a soft mix. Is yeah. that something that you utilize in your process? What you mean by a soft mix? Like some people once they layer down vocals or a part of the beat within the track, they'll go ahead and mix it right then and there versus waiting to the end after you record everything and you start mixing it that way. And mixing on the fly? Yeah. Yeah, I, I record like that. Okay. But that, that's more of my rough edit though. Like, like um, you know, I might have little presets like you go, like the, the, the plugins that I'll go to or whatever, certain EQs and shit. Mm -hmm. And I'll start there as a basis and then if I don't like the particular sound or what I'm getting from that particular point, then I will um, build around that. Okay. But that would be my starting point, you know what I mean? Like just roughly or whatever like that. So, okay. yeah. So I, I would say, yeah, I do a soft I do a lot of them. Shit. So how long you been, you been doing this, doing music? Doing music for some years, man. Some years, since I was a little kid. But, uh... You know, the thing is, it's just was taking it serious and, you know, just shit like that, you know what I mean? So, but as far as music go, I always love music, man. Like, from instruments to um, to writing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I always like writing, being the creative writer okay. and shit like that, you know what I mean? So, so what's harder to you? Producing or rhyming, laying down on vocals? Rhyming easy because it come natural. Okay. Uh, making the beats would be more of a challenge because you got to deal with a lot of other shit that, you know what I mean, may or may not be what you, the sound that you're looking for, you know what I mean? So you might got to settle for a sound. Okay. 
shit like that. The pain is whatever's in your head. Making the beat is still whatever's in your head, but you gotta work with what you got as far as the sounds and shit. You know what I'm saying? So are you more with the you utilizing keys or using the pads? I used to do nothing but the keys, but now I implement both. But I stay more the pads a lot more okay. lately as of late. Okay. Yeah. Well, once I get, I'm trying to. I want to upgrade and get another uh, workstation. I the keyboard with a workstation. And when I do that, then I'll probably start diving in them keys again because start getting them, them different sounds and shit. Like you ever heard that that Nordic uh, was it North North North? You know what I'm talking about that computer, the red one. Mm-hmm. The stage joint, Nord- Nordstrom or some shit like that. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I forgot what the name of it is. Man, them sounds like that shit is crazy. The Rollins too. Yeah, With the Rollins, Phantom. the Phantoms and shit. Al Flusion got a Phantom. Shit, sick. Sounds is pure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So last but not least, man, what kind of advice would you give people who are aspiring to get into music, start producing, start rhyming? Like, what would be the like the key thing they should concentrate on to better their craft. Uh, you want to jump in on that? Cause you, know what I mean, Go ahead. Yeah, I would just say you know stick to your soul, man. Stick to your what, what, what feel good. Like me and bro, we've been at this for a little over a year now. We just pretty much at, like I said, when, when we finish the track, if it feel good to us, we dab pins and you know smile at the end of the track. We I, I think it's gonna sell them on. On, on, on the sound or the feeling or whatever, like it's we don't we don't like my little bro. He taught me a lot on overthinking. You know, mm-hmm. it's like it's it's give it just go there and be natural. Like don't don't try to put too much into it. Don't try to overdo it. Don't try to you know create someone else's sound or try to mimic someone else's sound. Just be original, be yourself, and have fun with it. And I think that's gonna gain the longevity uh, of it all. And like I said, like be you know I think we accomplished a lot in a little bit of time. And that's just from staying true and staying, you know, bond to the music. Like if it's, it's if, if we like some some of these tracks, I wake up to the shower. I'm shower, <laughs> I shower and trip back. Like it's it's a it's a it's a good feeling. It's a good, and I'm not even talking that just because me and Bro doing the music. I, I really think we generating good a good sound and a good tone to to the radio aspect. Yeah, definitely. So basically, the most important thing is is all about being as authentic as you can be, being true to yourself. Pretty much. Much. Being authentic and um, I come with originality. Yeah, too, originality. Right? You know I mean? like, stay, 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 staying in your lane. Knowing what you're capable of. Knowing what you're not at that point, particular point, but still go out and try it. Don't be afraid. You know what I'm saying? And um, keep it pushing and believing yourself, man. Like the sky's the limit. You know what I mean? You hear that all the time, but everything start with an idea and a dream. Right. So. You know, but if you if you uh, ain't doing nothing towards it, then nothing's gonna come from it. Yeah, man, definitely, you know I mean? definitely rid the doubt within yourself, because that's 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 most that's most entertainers and anybody in influential people's most downfall within itself. Once you get that doubt in your mind or let that seed be planted, that that stops the creation and evolution of all things. Like it's the, once the doubt there, you you start telling yourself that you can't do it. Your body, emotions, and brain, and all that's going to function exactly the same. As long as you're telling yourself it's, it's possible and you can make this happen, the music going to talk for itself. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's that's pretty much like us. That's, that's that's our trip. Black, I think we representing it all. Like we're going in with a with a homely feeling. Like you know, like we ain't trying to. Like you said, we just trying to stay in our own lane within a, within ourselves. Like this is what we can do. This is what we bring to the table. And this is what we got. Yeah, I mean, if it's, if it's, I think we accepted by many so far. So <laughs> be looking out for it, Super Marquand. It's coming. It's definitely coming. Yeah. Hey, uh, real quick, real quick. Y'all believe in Ghost Riders? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, yeah, yeah. I believe in Ghost Riders. I mean, personally, for me, no, I like to write my own shit. Yeah. But I mean. <laughs> Would I write for somebody else? Of course. And shit, if somebody else come through and they young, uh, boom, this bitch is like, okay, yeah, this motherfucker got some dollar signs on this shit. Uh, yeah, but of course I might gotta add my I gotta add my own element to the motherfucker somehow. Yeah. 
It's all business. It's all business. Yeah, but it's, it's all part of the game, you know what I mean? But do I believe in Ghost Riders as far as just strictly that? No. Mm-hmm. But somebody slides you a, a hit or something like that or whatever, or, or if you, um, we, we got a crew and shit, he might uh, help me finish one of my bars or some shit, you know what I mean? Like, you nigga get stuck like that, you know what I mean? Whoa, whoa. That's shit, that's part of the ghost writing game too, ain't right, it? Right, right. You know what I mean? So it's all, depending on how you look at it, that's like I said, just strictly that, nah. But if you just getting like some, um, Input or some help or something mm-hmm. like that. I don't see nothing wrong with that. I think too, part two and all that. You gotta retain some type of openness to itself. Like bro, just touched a good mark. Like you said, we all try to help each other complete the task and complete the the project. So it been times like he didn't like yo change your bar to this. So try this or that, and I done did vice versa. Did the yeah. same, and that's that's all helping to to the completion of what to yeah. the goal what we trying to achieve. Yeah. So ghost writing like I. I don't want to sit there and say like it's a negative thing or a bad thing. Like he said, to each his own. We try to bring ourselves to the table. But if I could better him, he could better me. Or someone else can better us. Number one, I will always look at that as a compliment to me. Because if you think you got some guards that I should be <laughs> that I should be bringing to the table, you must see something or believe something in us already to, 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 you know what I'm saying, to, to accomplish that. So I, I, I wouldn't say it's a negative thing at all. But, you know, I would say try to do your own. Try to be on and try to be yourself, because that's where there's, you're going to be able to create your own original sound. Like, nobody can sound like you. Nobody can create what you do. Nobody can do as much as you want and, and push yourself. And, and like I said, don't, you know, eliminate doubt and strive for the best. Like, if you think you sound weight, like, be get better the next day. Try to do it better the next time. Try to do it, you know what I mean? And be open-minded. Like you said, you don't ever want to close yourself like, I'm the, I'm the trillest dude out here. I'm the best. I got the best. I'm trying to sound like Hove or this, and that's the only way. Nah, just just be you, cause every every each individual got accepted one at one point in time. Hove was accepted when Hove was accepted. <coughs> Nas was accepted when Nas was accepted. Jada Kiss was accepted when Kiss, and I think Trip Black gonna do the same one. When Trip Black get the time to shine and say, "Hey, this on time for us," we get a, we get a general ear to listen to us. I think they really gonna listen. So would y'all say y'all got like friendly competition with each other? Just to elaborate on the point of I mean, how both, y'all kind of sharpen each other's pen. Yeah, we both want to come, yeah, come, come correct. I ain't sharpen I mean? on. Yeah, like, if niggas is lacking, then yeah, we're going to be like, yo, nah, you should yeah, do that come, over. come this. Yeah, do that over, do that takeover, or, um, you know what I mean, switch this bar like you just said, or say, 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 say that instead of the, you know what I mean? But we both want, at the end of the day, we both want to, us both to shine. Mm-hmm. It ain't it ain't no oh I'm better than you or you better than me da, 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 da. like nah. trick. yeah you know what I'm saying and it, and it just go from there you feel me like that's but the still foundation. though sometimes man you want to have like that moment like how Jada did on that versus how he just took over that thing and just kind of made Dipset look kind of like well, softer he, on mean, stage but Jada could Jada could do that I mean as far as what whatever they dealing with uh, with they squad you feel me like. Mm-hmm. That, that's the locks. Like, they all ill. I'm about to say, I think yeah. they all bring the gorilla, gorilla flavor you know to the table. It's like, yeah. it's, like being a, it's, it's like being a Hulk and Spawn or Hulk and, you know what I mean? Yeah. Superman gonna be Superman, but Batman gonna be Batman too. You know what I'm saying? Like, they yeah. all got they all got something great to offer. Like, that's what I said. Like, uh, you know, I feel as though some of the tracks, like, I done had singles where he was a fan of. Bro, that's dope. Now, I keep it like that. And me personally, I don't feel like it's it too, he on. Mm. Vice versa, Vice same versa. thing. Like yeah. the same thing. He'd have been like, I'm like, bro, let me on that chair. Or listen out. He'd be like, man, it don't, it don't sound like it don't sound like until until we, you know what I mean, we, we as a whole. Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm I'm not opposed to saying, you know, let's up each other, let's keep the friendly, I guess, sort of rubbing elbows or the grunt, but you know, through the process going because that is making us both better. That is making us both. Dig into that that vocabulary. Dig into that diction. You know what I mean? Go start start to you know mind, mind fuck the bars a little bit and all bit. You know what I'm saying? So so I, I I can see the difference too in a little bit of time that we've been doing this just from challenging ourselves within ourselves. Like we ain't even we ain't even get to the to the to the fans yet or to the open media. Like like what you know them them like challenging action was what's next. Us ourselves is asking us what's next. Mm-hmm. So that's that right there. Like I think we. That that's what that's where the production part of it coming in at. But us keeping us on the on the edge and this keeping really us close. This is, this is 
we've been closed ciphers. You know what yeah, I'm man, yeah, mm-hmm. real like, shit. Like, like this first time, really, motherfuckers coming, really, you know what I mean, getting a little sneak peek. Straight up exclusive shit. Right. Like, all day, every day. Besides, who, who, who around us in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, we working, man. We working. We working. We definitely you know, I gotta, I gotta say this just for me, man. Like, I done heard a lot of different people here out from South Jersey, or just in Jersey in general. And I'm saying it not just because I'm in the studio with y'all, but Trip Black has always been the nicest to me. You yeah, know what I mean? Appreciate respect. That's and definitely, appreciate Sid, respect. I learned a lot from you. If it wasn't for you, I would sound like a straight clown half yeah, the time anyway. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So definitely much love to y'all. Much success, much blessings to y'all. Respect, um, respect. Definitely we need to see y'all on the map on a... On a in a stadium rocking out with 50,000 people going crazy, you know what I mean? Oh, the, pe- the, 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 the people, the, it's so not just the hood, it's everybody needs the needs trip black, you know what I mean? They need to hear this music, man. So I'm definitely proud of y'all guys, y'all really doing y'all thing, man. Word, sure do. Appreciate, Appreciate that. that. Appreciate that. Oh, so, man. you know, we live right here in the studio, you know what I mean, with trip black. You know what I mean? I appreciate you letting me come through. No doubt, bro. You know what I mean? And again, much blessings to y'all, man. True indeed. Thanks, man. Y'all keep man. keep flooding the street with that music, man. Word, thanks, man. Keep mine soon going. <laughs> All right. R.I.P. to the ruler, man. All right, no doubt. R.I.P. to Rick, man. R.I.P. to Rick. Always. Peace.